Hello everybody and welcome back to Pokemon Emerald Randomizer Nuzlocke. We are back to gaming. I know that last video was a little weird, but it was it was important enough to me. It was something that was important enough to me that I I felt I needed to make that. So I did it. And I've been Did anyone just hear that? That was the call of a Regice. I just heard... Does Regice call while he's in your party? I just heard Regice. That was fucking creepy as shit. I don't know if y'all heard that. But anyway. Fuck you, Regice. Maybe lose my train of thought. Oh yeah, I was, I was kind of on the fence about uploading it. But since I'm saying all this, I guess I am going to upload it. Yep. <clears throat> And I'll let you all just find out for yourselves. Alright, so now we are... <laughs> we are on our way to... Fortree City. And we are going to fight uh, against... I actually have no idea who the gym leader is. I, I don't know. But we're going to fight that gym leader. I don't even know what they specialize in, to be honest with you. I want to say... I don't know. I have no idea. Probably bug? Maybe bug. Based on uh, our surroundings. But we just got to make our way over there. We're going to have to get like a water bottle or something. And... Or not a water bottle. That's in crystal. We have to get so we have to do some shit to get past these Kecleons that are in the way. And I believe this is where you catch a Phoebus if uh, you are playing this game legitimately. And I, I'm pretty sure getting Phoebus is very, very rare. Anyway, I need to heal up. I'm hoping I can heal up in here, but I'm not sure. What the fuck? No, you, you asshole, you're supposed to heal. I think... Yeah, I think if you lived in a house full of wind gulls, there would be bird shit everywhere. That would be fucking disgusting. This lady is a filthy, filthy woman. Oh, we're gonna be getting fly soon, it looks like. I don't know how close the next city is, but I need to get that pronto terrigato because I am hurting in the butthole. I mean, I want to fight these people, but I don't want to die. My life is important to me, you know? Oh, you sneaky fuckers. You can't fool me, alright? Ariyama. Oh my gosh. Maybe I can sneak around the back? Let's see here. Can I get through these trees? Yes, I can. Ha! Ah! Oh no, I don't have the bike! No! It means I gotta fight. I gotta fight somebody. Oh, that's a double battle. Not doing that. Dodging trainers for days. Aw, oh, shit! Well, I just skipped all of that for nothing. Alright, well, looks like we're... I heard another Pokemon cry. I don't know... What's the deal with this place? But, uh, it's kind of creeping me out. Alright, well, it looks like I'm just going to have to super potion it. Oh, wait, I'm not even that hurt. I'm an idiot. I'm sorry, guys. That was a colossal waste of y'all's time. Sorry. <laughs> I was making sure my uh, fan was not blowing into the mic. Alright, you. I really thought I was hurting. Apparently not. Alright, we're gonna train up... Let's just train up Captain Cox. Fuck it. Azumarill? Speaking of Azumarill... In the new Pokemon games, X and Y, they are introducing the... Fairy type. Which is a very, very weird... Uh, name for a type. 
And, oh my god, rangers are so annoying. But anyway, they're introducing the fairy type, and Azumarill, of all Pokemon, is been confirmed to be of that type. Yeah. It, it was like, what was it? Azumarill and, like, Jigglypuff or some shit? Like, I just don't know what the criteria is to be a fairy type. Do you have to beat some whimsical little, like, fucking fluffy creature? And that makes you a fairy, I guess? So if I had to guess, I would say probably... Um... I don't know. Chansey, Clefable, Wigglytuff... Any, like, cute, like, fluffy motherfucker is gonna be... Uh... Stun Spore... Oh my gosh. Chicken dick, you fucking idiot. Three paralyzes in a row. That's what I'm dealing with. This is the type of shit I'm talking about, man. Now, granted, I can't really complain too much after that luck streak I just had, but seriously, three paralyzes in a row? Three in a row? That is bullfuck. This game should be ashamed of itself. Alright. Peck the motherfucker, chicken dick. Come on! Pecker with your chicken dick for all I care. And now it's not gonna die. Yeah. See? You could have prevented this fucking misery you're going through. But no. You had to be like, I can't move. I can't move. Like, oh, oh, you can move sometimes, but not all the time. Only occasionally can you peck. <laughs> that's that's him pecking. But then the rest of the time he's just like, I can't move. And fuck this lady. Fuck this lady. Just straight up fuck this lady. She's a bitch. Dude, Chicken Dick's gonna die. Straight up. But I want this kill. And I'm going to get this kill. I just gotta pre- <gasps> Alright. Ow, shit. Oh my fuck, that hurt. Ow! Oh, God, I just got a hangnail. Oh, my fucking God. Yep, that hurt. See, this is what getting mad at Pokemon does to you, children. Boys and girls, learn from my air. Motherfucker. And I just I had perfect nails, too. Mm-mm, just got them done. That is bullshit. All right. Oh, I got those lava cookies! Fuck yeah, I'm gonna use one of those. Oh no, I have 14 paralyzed heals, I'll use one of those. Mark <laughs> my worst chicken dick is gonna kill you. Alright, I gotta heal the paralyzed, there's no doubt about it. Alright, now another super bro, now she's probably gonna stun support me and I'm just back to square one. Or not. Alright, peck! Peck the bitch. <laughs> Alright. Right, I'm about to give up. There's literally no way I can beat her now. Son of a bitch, dude. Hangnails suck, man. They're the worst. If it wasn't for the whatever it is... Alright, give up. I give up. You win, Roselia. You fucking win. Now you're gonna get blasted by Cucumber, you fucking bitch. Yeah, that's right. Eat it. Eat, eat a bag. Eat a fucking bag. Of dicks. I don't wanna register, you whore. Fuck you. Fuck up my team like that and then think you can get my number. Ha! Ha! Think you can get a, a handout? Hmm? You're like, oh, 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 I don't have any friends. Will you be my friend? Well, you would have friends if you didn't paralyze people all the time. It's fucking horrible. That's horrible. You rendered my, my, my pets, my buddies, in case... 
You rendered them incapable of movement. That is ridiculous. Like, you think I'm gonna, like, just fucking, like... Fucking, yeah, man, let's go fucking sit down and play video games. Yeah, let's hang out. Let's go... Let's go to the mall. No. No, you're a fucking sadist. Alright. <laughs> oh, we got that covered. Let us go out to BBW. Not seeing much action lately. Not at all. I fucking hate Pokemon Rangers. I fucking hate Pokemon Rangers. I should have just said fuck it and didn't fight them. I don't think the problem is Captain Cox doesn't like he's out of PP and Dragon Rage. Shit. I'm afraid Cucumber's gonna get his ass handed to him. We're in quite the pickle, boys! Let's go back to Chicken Dick. Let's give Chicken Dick another solid shot. Cause this time it'll be times four a week. So yeah. Not happy with the results on that one. Ah, uh, cucumbers got this fucking shit. Whatever. At least I'm getting some XP on the chicken dick. I don't want any of y'all's numbers. I hate all of you. I literally hate you all. I hope you all die. I'm skipping them because fuck them. Just straight, up, just motherfuck them, right? Zumoral, you fairy motherfucker, I'm going to eat you. Alright. So this is a double battle, because there's a little, like, ninja bitch hiding underneath that, uh... That very clever disguise right there, yeah, that's not obvious. So I'm gonna have to fight you first. If you're not on your guard, you're in for some pain. You know what? I'm gonna put your tubby ass in a pail, put a brick in it, and throw it in that pond. I will do it. And this guy looks like a miniature version of, like, Gara or Sorcery for all you Naruto fans out there. Badass, badass. Alright, Rollout should fuck this thing sideways. That's what happened. That is what happened. Is Rock super effective on poison? Nope. No, not the smoke screen. Is everybody on this route a bitch? And a missed. Why? <laughs> Just why? How do you miss a surf? Explain to me how a tidal wave misses. I can understand because it's floating, but those rules don't apply here, game. Alright, well, I still hit. We're good. Good. Missed. Was that clear, like status moves or something? Sounds to reject. Nah, fuck that move. Takashi, you're surprisingly good. You know what's funny is that he's like a like a ninja, but his sprite, he's like this tubby little motherfucker. I like kid trainers. Let's have a good one. Do I even need to make the joke? He's a pedophile. He's a pedophile. He touches children. That's Sam. Yeah. I'm sorry if that triggered something like bad from your past. And I do. I do. I'm not trying to be funny. I do genuinely mean that. If you were had a bad run in with a peeping tom or some shit, I am truly sorry. Won't make another joke like that. Just kidding, I probably will. Just kidding. You're pretty good, ho ho ho. <sighs> You're a ho. Alright, now we gotta go in here and fight a whole bunch of Team Aqua dudes. I could have healed right here. Just like that. I totally forgot. You know, first of all, look, all right, let's count everything wrong here. Alright. One. I just walked into like a secret lab of some of some sort. 
there's a bed, just a just one bed. I'm willing to bet like a thousand, like not a thousand, like twenty or so scientists work in this lab. You're telling me twenty of them share this bed? That's fucking disgusting. How do they do that? Second, number two, there's a little kid standing right there, and I'm just gonna sleep in front of him. He's probably seen some shit lately, because this place just got invaded by a gang of pirates, and he's just gonna watch me sleep? This traumatized kid? Fuck that. Three, I'm in a lab filled with crazy fucking pirates. Are you just gonna sleep? You're just gonna take a nap. You're like, fuck it. You're like, pokey logic. That's, that's what that is right there. Huh? What's a kid doing here? Huh? What's a fucking pirate doing here? Answer me that. Just need to calm down. I've said fuck more times than Al Pacino in the past 15 minutes. So I apologize. I'm gonna cut down on that. I'm gonna roll back the attitude. You see, I'm just kind of on edge ever since freaking... I got the news today about John Tron. Still haven't quite recovered. Oh, Game Grumps. Oh, Game Grumps, you worry me so... Rough skin hurt little bitch. That sounds kind of weird. Like, I don't know. His rough skin hurt the little bitch. You know what? Like, ugh. Creepy. Huh? I lost. You had one Carvana up against my team of six dudes that are each like five levels higher than you. Man, I can't believe I lost that. Yeah, you, you fucking idiot. You, quit meddling. I'll show you some meddling. You haven't seen meddling until so you've seen me meddling. It's the truth. I speak no lies. Alright, so I've noticed that these trainers are getting a little bit tougher. <laughs> Their Pokemon are up there. BBW, I hate you! I'm just kidding, I love you, but you gotta stop missing those rollouts, man. Blasted. Blasted by a kid. Finally, they're catching on. I blasted you. I fucking blasted the shit out of you. I fucking plastered you. I blasted you so hard, you got stuck to the wall. I, right after this battle, I was dancing to the music, by the way. After this battle, on the next battle, I'm going to pantomime everything that happens. I'm not going to say a word. I'm acting like I just started. But that this goes into effect next video. I was just silent right there because I had nothing to say. Our plans being spoiled by a kid, you know, what you could do is just grab me by the neck and throw my ass out of the lab, but nah. Alright, here we go, pantomime mode on. Don't tell me you're looking for that weather Pokemon too, that's a no-no. What kind of, like, evil villain just goes, that, that's a no-no. <laughs> uh-uh, aside from that fat guy from Jurassic Park 1. Alright, pantomime mode, on. I don't know if pantomiming includes noises, but it does in my vision. So, yeah. <laughs>
So that was that. That was a pretty good pantomime, by the way. I don't know if you could figure out if you knew exactly what all those actions were supposed to be, but I hope you got it. All right. See, Michael Grunt would like to battle Poochiana. I haven't seen one of those. Whoa. I haven't seen one of those before. All right, man. It's too late to be doing all that exercise. Man, that was a, wor that was a workout. I just realized if I want to get in shape, all I got to do is just pantomime my vids. Speaking of mimes, oh my fuck, I read the creepiest story on Reddit about this kid that got up in the middle of the night to get some water. It was on Let's Not Meet. Check out that subreddit if you want to be fucking, like, creep the fuck out. I don't know if it was true. I don't know if it was real. But the guy swears it was real and nobody believes him. Uh, you know, I don't, you know, if, if something like that happened to me... I would want people to believe me, so I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. Anyway, what happened was, he got up in the middle of the night to get some water, and he went downstairs and saw a mime. A guy dressed up as a mime at his door. Like, doing the rope thing, you know, like... You know what I'm talking about? And then, like, pointing at the door and was telling the kid to unlock it, but he wasn't making any noise. And the kid just, like, fucking just got the fuck out of there. Oh, God, it's scary. Like, it gives me the creeps to think about it. Alright. Ah, ha, 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 you're going to meddle on Team Michael's Affairs. You're either absolutely fearless, simply ignorant, or both. You're so cute, you're disgusting. I'll put you down, kitty. Oh, God. That was a stereotype. Look at this bitch. Aqua Admin Shelly. More like... Smelly! <laughs> At least they have Carvanas to kind of go with the... Aqua theme. But didn't one of them have a Slugma just a few minutes ago? I don't remember. You know, I honestly feel like I fucked around so much this episode, I, like, didn't accomplish anything. So I apologize. <laughs> if, uh, if, uh, that disappointed you. I took down this lab, you know, I got something done. I have no fear, we will most likely face the next gym leader in the next episode. Ahahahahaha, ah, ha, 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 ha. you're disgustingly strong. It's a very weird combination. It's bad enough to have Team Magma blunder about, but now there's you. What makes you want to sniff around our business anyway? Honestly, I don't know. I don't even give a shit. It's just, I have to do it because your bitches are staying in the way. If I if they would just move, you wouldn't have to deal with this, and you could, guys would probably succeed. We have a situation here. A Team Magma mob just passed the Weather Institute. They appear to be headed for Mount Pyre. What? We can't waste any more time right here. We have to hurry to Mount Pyre, too. Ah, ha, ha, Team Magma, just you wait. <sighs> Thanks. Thanks to you, we're safe. It might be an odd way of thinking you, but take this Pokemon. Receive Cast Form. Yes! Do you want to give a nickname to Cast Form? Sure, but I can't guarantee I'll use him. We'll name him Nuthead. Because <laughs> it looks like... No, actually, you know what? Let's name him... Wait. Let's call him Neckballs. There we go. Because he's just a little... He's got a... He's a head with a pair of nuts. Just... Balls, like just straight testes. Well, I didn't mean to do that, but I'm just gonna fucking go with it. We're gonna call them Neek Balls. Fuck it. There's one more space. Let's put some quotes. <laughs> Let's put some end quotes. That was, uh, that was probably one of the best nicknames I've ever made. Neek Balls, quotation. That's his name. That Pokemon changed his name. Yeah, we already fucking know. Alright, sounds good. Sounds good, boo-boo. Now those bitches should no longer be in front of the bridge. I don't want to heal anymore. Oh, 
While there is a PC here, it's time to get rid of little bitch, and we are going to put Jerry Rice into the field, into the fields of justice. And I gotta move like all these guys into the normal box, but I ah, fucking let's do it real quick. He's level 25. I don't know. He'd be like a good backup, I guess. He's gonna be our like third string, you know. All right, let's get out of here. And the bridge is clear. All right, cool. So, until next time, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Peace!